Okay, wait till you see this. This is so cool. In Texas, 3D printing is reaching new heights for the first time ever in the U.S. A 3D printer is building a two-story home. Stephanie Haynes is live with a closer look at the construction. Stephanie, I'm watching the video and I'm thinking, this is so cool. Yeah, Adrian, good morning. It's a really unique project. The home is made out of all concrete or mostly concrete, and that 3D printer weighs 12 tons. Designers think this is the way of the future. This morning, construction crews in Houston are getting ready to power up a massive 3D printer. It will spend the whole day laying concrete for this 4,000 square foot, two story, three bedroom home. In the designing of this house, uh, we not only think about the general floor plans um, and you know usage, but we also design the actual print path, like how the printer will print, where it starts, and where it stops. It's a project two years in the making by three companies. Design firm Hanna, Perry 3D Construction, and construction engineering company Seve. The printer will take 330 hours, and it does most of the work. You can see that on site we have currently five people. One of the benefits is also it takes a lot of the heavy lifting, the labor out of the human. The designers say a concrete home will hold up against hurricanes or other severe weather in Texas. They hope they can build more multifamily homes this way. A recent study estimates the United States is short about 3.8 million housing units. The house should be done in just a few months, and right now it is more expensive to build with concrete uh, than, say, lumber. But uh, they're hoping that cost will even out eventually as technology improves, Adrian. And they're also thinking ahead because we were seeing a huge lumber shortage uh, during the past few years. So whether you use wood or cement, it's going to be pricey. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.